Have you ever seen a hungry person on the street as you walk by your either neighborhood or anywhere in this country? Have you ever wondered how you as a viewer could help them? Hello everyone, I, my name is Nico Jeremiah Jayadi from Noble Academy and I will show how we can help people suffering from malnutrition. Malnutrition or undernutrition is caused by either a lack of nutrients due to a poor diet or just problems absorbing nutrients from food in general. Certain things can increase your risk of becoming malnourished. This problem is more likely for women, infant, child, infants, children, and adolescents. The rate of malnutrition in only Jakarta is, according to Compass, around 36,000 toddlers or 200,000 out of the 457,000 targeted toddlers. The rate of malnutrition in Indonesia, according to the UNICEF, is estimated about 38% of kids under six suffering from it, which is, also, which is around 2 million. It is also estimated that 21% of kids suffer from stunting, which is when the, they are not as tall as they should be. This is not good because it increases healthcare costs, reduces productivity, slows economic growth. So how do we fix this? We need to find a, the cause of malnutrition. The cause of malnutrition is interconnected with poverty, inequity, conflict, climate change, gender discrimination, and weak government policies and poor health care. All of these problems are why malnutrition is as big of a problem as it is. According to the article by the Action Against the Hungry Associate Organization, we need to find a way to give every single person healthy food, especially those who are facing all of these issues. Some ways to get this to, to get this are to increase agriculture production, basically to farm more, especially for healthy foods. Reduce poverty, which, eat, which takes a global, a lot of effort to address as you also have to do, uh, introduce global politics into this. Minimize food waste and improve government policies and also make strong sa social safety nets. There are many countries out there like France, Norway, Japan, Denmark, and South Korea who have put in programs or government policies to fight malnutrition. In France, the government put laws that to give store managers fines or even jail for throwing away food that is, that is not expired or given to a food shelter. In Norway, the government and their food industry have agreed to cut, down, to cut food waste by half in 2030 as store lean towards giving new expired foods for lower prices and there are also applications to help stores give food to food shelters. Denmark has multiple non-profit program programs that reduce countries' food waste by 25% in the last five years. In Japan, since they don't have the best land to start farming for agri farming their crops, they really need to not waste food in order to feed people. So they implement a food bank and a food recycling law which aims to put food waste into compost and the country has educated people from elementary all the way to college on food waste. In South Korea, the government has added recyc a recycling fee for how much food is wasted. They have special bins that weigh the food and then give you the bill. And the waste is turned into compost. I emphasize that on, this, on those ways, the ones that we could do practically every day, the best way to release Practically solve malnutrition is to reduce food waste. Uh, according to the Food and Agriculture Ag Associ Organization, FAO, 14% of food gets wasted yearly, and 14% is wasted in households. It is estimated that we can fit, feed more than 1 billion people, which is around one eighth of this entire population on Earth, by reducing food waste because Indonesia is the second largest food waste in the entire world. According to an article from Venus University, several studies have found that food waste in two major cities in Indonesia, namely Surabaya and Bogor, reach more than 60%. A recent study from Banapas Waste for Change and WRI Indonesia have also revealed that the amount of food waste and food loss in Indonesia from 2000 to 2009 reached 23 to 48 million tons per year. According to the FCO, if we stop wasting food, the food prices will decrease which makes it easier for the less fortunate to buy these foods. Therefore, it is clear that a simple daily action of practicing wise food consumption will bring advantages to society, helping the less fortunate access foods indirectly. So how can we help? We can only buy food the amount that we need, even if they might be a discount. It's usually not recommended to buy it. When, they, when we think we need to buy more to save it for another time, 
We can save leftovers for appropriate place or in a container so that they will not go wrong soon and we can eat them while it is still proper and consume and to consume so that they will not end up in a trash bin. In addition, we can use food scraps for compost or stock and give it to the less fortunate. And give it to the less fortunate. Your contribution matters to those suffering from malnutrition. Manage food waste now so that we can make a healthier generation in the future. We believe that this is possible and I take act and you and I can take this action together. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Nico, for